Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to use data validation drop-down lists in conjunction with Excel's newer dynamic array functions like filter, unique, sort, etc. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list here of names and some of them repeat. You can see Ed is twice, Bill, Tom, repeat multiple times. And I want to get a unique list of those names and I want to create a data validation drop-down list off a unique list of those names. So I'm going to go up and say equals unique. My array is this list here. Close my parentheses and hit enter. And again with Excel's dynamic array it automatically provides a spill of those unique names in that list. Now, if I want to create a data validation off of that, I'm going to select data validation, choose list. Now, if I just, for my source, hit that top cell where that formula is and say OK, all I get is that top name. I have two choices now in how to produce the list off of that unique list that Excel provided. One way is to select the range. Say OK, and now my drop down list includes Tom, Bill, Ed, Jane, Mary, and Sue. If I, for example, change Mary to Sue, now that one disappears and it automatically adjusted accordingly. And my drop down list, notice it includes a blank because I had indicated how high I wanted that list to be. The best alternative is instead to just select the top cell where that formula is and include the pound sign after it. Now I'll say OK and you can see I have Tom, Bill, Ed, Jane, Sue. If I change this Sue to Mary, it includes it. If I go to my drop down list, it included it there. If I change that back to Sue, again Mary is removed from the list and it's removed from my drop down. So that's really the best way to approach this. Show you the same example, but this time using the filter function. Equals filter tab. My array is this list here, comma, and I want to include anything where this list equals one. Close that function, and again, I get a list any place that there was a one after the name. Again, now if I go to this cell include data validation list select my source choose that top cell where the formula is put in the pound sign hit OK now I have that list there again if I change one to Mary again it automatically is included now and my list is dynamic so that's how you can do that in Excel so thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Exceling.